My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to solve, we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problems, problem number 90, 99 and 100. Problem number 99, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's look at it. Let's take a look at it, shall we? We are told that the difference between two numbers is 26. The difference between two numbers is 26. We are further told, next sentence, full stop. We are further told that if we were to add 6, if 6 is added to the smaller number, if 6 is added to the smaller number, the result will be half the greater number. What are the numbers? Find them. Let's do this, shall we? There are two ways we can go about it. We can express our own entire work in terms of the smaller number. We can do our work in terms of the smaller number. Or if you like, we can solve the entire problems in terms of the greater number. Either one, either one is fine. Either method is fine. It's just a matter of preference. One is not better than the other. They're equally good, equally applicable, equally correct. So which method should we do? Let's do both, shall we? Let's do both. Let's first solve. Let's first solve the problem in terms of the in terms of the greater number in terms of the greater number let's define our variable let let g be the the greater number if we're going to define g as the greater number how would we express s the smaller number well given the fact that we are told that there are that there are difference difference between these two numbers is 26 so if g is the greater number, s must be whatever the greater number is, minus 26, because the smaller number is 26 less than the greater number, which is why the difference is 26. The fact that the difference between the two numbers is 26, that tells me that uh, the difference between the two must be 26, the greater number is 26 more than the smaller number. Enough, enough said, let's continue. We know that if we were to add 6 to the smaller number, so here we take our smaller number, and if we were to add 6 to it, what would happen? The result will be half the greater number. Whatever the greater number is, greater number is g. We take half of that. And remember, we are solving in terms of greater number, so we can't leave it here as s. We have to express this s in terms of greater number, which is g minus 26. So what we're going to do here is we're going to replace this s in terms of g minus 26. And instead of rewriting this new step, I'm going to do it here because I'm running out of room here. So this s here, the smaller number is simply g minus 26 from here. We substitute the smaller number, g minus 26 comes right there. Let's multiply this entire equation by 2 because we have to get rid of 2 here. So if we multiply this side by 2, this 2 is going to go away. And now we have to multiply this side by 2. It was a bit too early perhaps, but that's okay. So here we're going to end up with just a g. And here we'll end up with this. Let's first open this parenthesis. So it's 2 times g negative 26 and the positive 6 is going to be negative 20. And here we are left with just a g. Let's open the parenthesis now. So we get 2g minus 40 equals g. Bring the g to that side, subtract g from both sides, add 40 to both sides. If you add 40 to both sides, we'll end up 40 will end up here. Subtract g from both sides and we are done. g is going to cancel out, 40 is going to go. 2g minus g is just a g equals 40. If the greater number equals 40, the smaller number must be 40 minus 26, which is 13, no, 14 rather. That's it, we're done. So that was, the, that was the, the solution in terms of the greater number. Now let's do it again in terms of the smaller number. This time we're not going to explain too much, it's the same exact concept. So let's define our variable first. Let, let s be the smaller number. And that in turn will imply that the greater number, because their difference is 26, would have to be 26 more. S plus 26. We are told that if you were to add 6 to the smaller number, you take our smaller number and add 6 to it, what happens is that we get the result, which is half of the greater number half of the greater number, greater number divided by 2. But the greater number we know is s plus 26, so we have to put that here, s plus 26. 
we have to get rid of this 2 from the, from the bottom here. Let's multiply this entire equation by 2. If we multiply this side of the equation by 2, the 2 is going to go away. And since we multiply that side of the equation by 2, we must do the same thing here. Open the parentheses. 2 times s is going to be 2s. 2 times 6 is going to be 12. And here we're left with s plus 26. s plus 26. Let's bring the s to this side by subtracting s from both sides. So s is going to drop out. And let's bring the 12 to that side by subtracting 12 from both sides. And we are done. 2s minus an s is going to give a 12 is going to cancel out. s equals 26 minus 12. 26 minus 12. 26 minus 10 would have been 16. Therefore, 26 minus 12 would be 14. Which is exactly what we said before. The smaller number is 14, and therefore the greater number is going to be 14 plus 26, which is going to be the greater number is going to be smaller number plus 26, which is going to give us 40. Again, which method do you do you use? The answer is either method is equally good. Either method is, in my opinion, of equal equal difficulty or equal ease because it's not very complicated. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more problem. And this time, this time you pause the video and do it yourself. And then, then compare your work afterwards. So here we go. Here's the new problem. We are told, we are told that the difference between the two numbers is 26. We are further told that if you were to add, if you were to add 2, if you were to add 2, to the greater number, if we were to add 2 to the greater number, the result will be 3 times, 3 times the smaller number. Let's do it very quickly. One more time, the new problem says, the new problem says, the difference between the two numbers is 26. If you were to add 2, if 2 is added to the greater number, the result will be 3 times the smaller number. Let's do it together. Very quickly, in terms of greater number first, let's define greater number as g. The smaller number, because of the fact that the difference is 26, that part is still true. The, the smaller number is just whatever the greater number is, minus 26, because that's their, that's their, that's their, that's their difference. Now, the equations. Now, same thing here. If you're going to define s as a smaller number, the greater number is going to be whatever the smaller number is, plus 26, because their difference is 26, the rest is going to be different. So we're going to pick up speed and just do it out. So if 2 is added to the greater number, if you were to add 2 to the greater number, the result that you get is will be, will be means equal to, will be means equal to 3 times, 3 times the smaller number. 3 times the smaller number. But the smaller number we know is g minus 26. It's g minus 26. So let's put it here. 3 times the smaller number, which is going to be 3 times g minus 26. Open the parenthesis. We get 3g minus 3 times 26. How much is 3 times 26? How the hell do I know? I know 3 times 25. That I do know. 3 times 25 is 75. And therefore 3... If, if 25 threes are 75, then 26 threes must be just 3 more than 75, 78. 2 plus g, subtract g from both sides, add 78 to both sides. The g's are going to drop out. 3g minus g is going to be 2g equals 2 plus 78, which is 80 and g equals 40. I switched, I switched the location here because even though it's 3g minus g is 2g should be here, I switched the location because I, uh, the tradition dictates that we put the unknowns on the left hand side. So 2g equals 80, therefore g equals 40. If g equals 40, then the smaller number will be 40 minus 26, which is going to be 14. Let's see what we get here. We are told in terms of greater number now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna solve this thing in terms, or rather in terms of smaller number. So again, we are told 
that if 2 is added to the greater number, if you were to take the greater number and add 2 to it, what we get is 3 times the smaller number. It will be 3 times the smaller number. Since we are doing it in terms of smaller number, the s remains s, we have to def replace this g with this quantity. So g is equal to 26, s plus 26, s plus 26, that's your g, plus 2 equals 3s. 26 plus 2 is 28, so s plus 28 equals 3s. Subtract s from both sides, s is going to drop out. And we get 3s minus s is equal to 2s equals 28 and therefore s equals 14. And if s is equal to 14 then g will be 14 plus 26. 14 plus 26 giving us a 40. Same as before of course no difference. Of course there's not going to be any difference. Just because, just because you use a different method doesn't mean the answer is going to change. This was problem number 100. Problem number 100. Now here's what's going to happen. Okay, pay, 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 pay very close attention please for the next few seconds. And this is only for those people who have been watching these videos in the proper sequence from 1 through 100. We are at number 100 right now. We begin with problem number 1 obviously. And as you recall, problem number 1 was very simple, very straightforward, very, very, very easy. We started out with very easy problems. We are still on the easy problems. Think of these on a scale of uh, on a scale of one through ten. Think of these on a scale of one through ten. One being the extremely easy problems. One being the extremely easy problems. Two, three, four, five, six. These are going to be medium. Four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep it simple. To make the very long story short, we just finished the easy problems. 1 through 100, in my opinion, were easy problems. We'll do the next 100 problems, 101 through 200, which are going to be medium problems, in my opinion. And after problem number 200, I'm going to do probably a few more videos, maybe 50 more videos, uh, 50 more problems, 201 through 250, maybe, maybe 20 more or 30 more, I don't know. But beginning with 201, beginning with 201, we'll do some word problems which are going to be extremely hard, very challenging one. But we're not ready for yet. We have to build our skills slowly, gradually. That was the end of the easy problems. With problem number 101, we'll do, as I said, what I consider to be medium problems. And they're going to continue and they're going to keep increasing in the, in the difficulty level to 4, 5 and 6 level. Up until we reach problem number 200 and then we'll do a few hard ones. Okay, bye now.